along the lines of welcome everybody in with PCHers, Doniners, vice principals, um, bullies, uh, na- bullies neighbors, um, secret undercover agents, and uh, journalism teachers with no background experience but a real nose for news. But today, I can't invite them all in without first inviting in a very special guest. It goes by the name Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Welcome in Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Have a seat. If you're listening, this is Life on Mars, the Veronica Mars Rewatch podcast, where we go through episode by episode. Um, nice to meet you. Shaking your hand. I'm Brenton. I'm Emily. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to talk about uh, your episode. It's episode 18, Weapons of Class Destruction. Why do I feel like this is not high on JTT's list of like accomplishments in life? No. It's, I'm pretty sure it's just a footnote on there. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he did uh, Home Improvement for God knows how many seasons. Oh, I do love Home Improvement. Yeah. And um, the other one I can remember off the top of my head is, uh, nope, not Jingle All the Way. That's the Arnold Schwarzenegger holiday movie. All but Home for Christmas. Which I've talked about on this, I believe. <laughs> well, for those of you who thought maybe we did have some sway in the world, unfortunately, we mm-hmm. do not know JTT, and he is not here with us. No, he's not. Um, but we do get to pl- see him play a scumbag, two different kinds of scumbags. First, we think he's one type of scumbag, um, and then he turns out to be a different kind of scumbag. It shows you just how multifaceted white boys can be. Exactly. Problematic, <laughs> no matter what they do. <laughs> with, you know, jet black hair and drawn flames on his notebook yeah um playing very much into that stereotype of like loner wearing camo and people seem kind of slightly concerned over him but he's i'm a bad guy yeah Mm -hmm. this is exactly who billy eilish was singing about but then it turns out he's a good he's a bad good guy because he's got more never trust a cop that is touting their arrest record never trust a cop who's undercover as a high schooler too i feel like you have to i mean like god bless if that's your job and like go get him but like that's like a person you just don't want to fuck with you know Mm -hmm. like if you're willing to deal with high schoolers right it's too much like um logan refers to him as don't trust jump street Mm -hmm. yeah um we had a narc at my high school (laughs) (laughs) I'm glad you brought it up organically. <laughs> I was going to bring it up. <laughs> um, well, he wasn't at my high school. He was at the other. It's a small town. He was at the <laughs> other high school because that was the side of town that had less money. So, mm-hmm. you know, right. when you're racist, then that is the bad side of town. Totally. Um, you've seen the town. There is no bad side. Mm-mm. The worst thing that ever happened was the one time we made the wrong turn into the questionable neighborhood that still wasn't even bad. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, you know, when it's all you know, those mm-hmm. that's the other side of the tracks, literally. Right. Um, <laughs> literally. The train runs through the middle of the yeah, town. Yeah, hey, train town, right? It is a train town. That's why it exists. It's mm-hmm. one of the stops. Um, but there was an undercover cop and... He busted kids. I knew one kid, I think, that got in trouble for, like, mm. having or selling weed. <laughs> but, like, that went to my school. But, like, for the majority, the majority of kids that got caught were at the other school. And they were, because they all ran in the same circle. It's Hanford. They all ran in the same circle. Because <coughs> there's one circle to run in. Well, uh-huh. I mean, which side of the track, I guess, right? I mean, didn't you cross the tracks a lot. Oh, okay. Right. I mean, the mall's on the other side of the tracks. <laughs> oh, right. You know, what is one side of the town going to do? Exactly. The other side holds all the power. Um, so he caught people with drugs or bought drugs from someone or something. Yeah. I don't know. Like meth was a big thing in my town, but I'm pretty sure all these kids were doing was pot. So mm-hmm. I was kind of like, what a waste of resources. Yeah. yeah. Like at least a kid I knew, like he just smoked a lot of weed. Like mm. he's yeah, he nice. Wasn't he seems guy. like he's still a nice guy. Like I got, go get him. Like, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Go I've, get them. Yeah. <laughs> I've smoked weed like the kids. <laughs> right, that's what they tell them. Go get them. 420. Exactly. <laughs> oh, forgot to wish everybody happy 420. Oh, the entire yeah. month. Hope you're enjoying it inside, hotboxing your apartment or house. Um, it's a good thing we stopped smoking when we did because I would be stressed if I was high and in our so house. so stressed. Yeah. And then I'd be like, well, I wonder why I'm stressed. Must be the outside. Probably shouldn't need to smoke another bowl. Exactly. Um, but yes, so, um, then one time I got pulled over and the entire 
Hanford PD <laughs> joined. I had like five cops for me and one friend. And the guy was like, do you recognize me? And I was like, should I know you? Like, it's a small town. I'm like, are you my cousin? Like, <laughs> And he was like, oh, well, like if you had gone to the other school, then you'd know me. And I was like, I don't do drugs. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was literally like that. Like I had a job. I danced like 15 mm-hmm. hours a week. Like I wasn't, what time would I've had to smoke pot? <laughs> I was busy. Yeah. I didn't get lazy until college. Uh, excuse me. My best friend's McGruff. <laughs> my uncle's the DA. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good deterrent. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, no, it was very interesting. And the, yeah. the wait that then he still stayed as like a regular cop in the town for a while, which mm-hmm. I thought was weird. I don't know if he's still there. I don't even know his name. I, I mean, it, It'd be awkward, I guess, but it's only awkward one way. If he doesn't care, like, about busting people. Well, like, that he was like, do you recognize me? And I'm like, do you recognize me? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> God, like, I didn't know that was, like, a real thing until I was older. And it's like, that must be so weird to do. Well, and you have to think about the fact, yeah, like, one... I assume this guy was a good guy and didn't do questionable things, but, like what about the girls that hit on you or like, like there's so much that goes right. on there. That's like very sketchy. Like mm-hmm. how do you maintain normalcy without like getting right. in trouble? And I mean, of Ugh. course, of course kids talked. So like who knows uh-huh. what's actually true, but like, you know, people were like, Oh yeah. Like he was at this party and he brought alcohol or he did this. You know, it's, it's like, what is the right? Where's the line where's on this the line? And uh-huh. I'm sure there is one. Yeah. And I'm sure he's well versed in it. Right. And hey, go pick up alcohol and there's an easy in. Yeah. Or like pick up something someone else brought in. Like don't bring it yourself. You know, uh, like I don't know. Yeah, I see what you mean. I just I thought it was strange. Um, yeah, totally. I also, the only parties I went to, I did not. Yeah. The, the police came, I just left. Yeah. Same. What the fuck um, was I going to do? Yeah. My favorite time. Uh, We'll start off first. Um, I didn't have any undercover cops, or nobody told me. Um, <laughs> I like the idea that maybe one of your friends is still a narc. I would. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Just God, he keeps like texting me every now and then. Like, uh, do I say I'm going to the reunion? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Do you think they'll invite the undercover cop to the reunion? I feel like this was my sophomore or junior year, so Not he wouldn't have been my class. Know. Yeah. Um, I mean, people knew. They busted them. Like, right. he busted them. So I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe he's the security. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the parties that I went to that were busted by cops, there was one where we were, like, driving, and it's like, oh, like, you share this address? Like, yeah. It's like, wow, there's a lot of cars here. And then we drive past the house, and there's a helicopter circling it. It's like, oh, okay, we better go home. (laughs) Um, And then the other time, my friend lived down the street, and people got in a fight, so we just collected ourselves and walked back down the street and then stood on the driveway with his mom as we saw the cops roll up, and she's like, well, it's a good thing you guys are good boys. (laughs) We're like, yeah, they got in a fight. Like, there's, there's nothing, no reason for us to be there. Um, I, you know, there's a couple high school party memories where cops or sheriffs showed up that come to mind. But my personal favorite is when we were drinking in the riverbed, because that's what you do in the mm-hmm. summer. Because you can light a bonfire and no one can see it. I get you. And technically, the river docks and landings are part of people who live by them's property. So, mm. like, you're on someone's parents' property. <laughs> okay, right. So, like, if that kid's parents are like, yeah, I don't care that all these kids are here, then mm-hmm. the cops can only make you dump out your beer. Nice. So, we were in the riverbed. I wasn't even drinking. I don't think any of, like, the girls I was with were drinking. We were just, like, mm-hmm. there to hang out. Right. Um, And we my friend had a jeep so we drove into the riverbed because then Mm -hmm. they can't see the cars and it's not like you have to go kind of behind an orchard or something to get to it anyway yeah um and the sheriff's department shows up and that was back when cops had just switched from whatever cars they'd had before to like the was it the dodge challengers what is the oh yeah, yeah yeah so um, they decided they were going to drive into the riverbed mm-hmm. and then a kid with a truck had to tow the sheriffs out of the riverbed because oh, they got great. stuck. Uh-huh. And I thought it was, hel- and they're like, yeah, give us your beer. And we're like, okay, whatever. You know, <laughs> kids are like chugging them or throwing them away. And, 
I just thought it was hilarious because I'm like, why? Like, just park at the top. Right. You don't need to, like, show <laughs> off. Yeah. yeah just, we get why? it. You're adults. Yeah. Cool. You can buy alcohol legally. And we <laughs> had to buy it from the mini mart that doesn't ID. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. You bought it at the Costco. <laughs> right. Look who's over 21. <laughs> yeah. What do you fucking do? <laughs> uh, they probably got 36 packs, though. Well, uh, and... I was dating a boy at the time whose mom worked for the sheriff department. So then mm. he called me when they called us in because his mom right. heard my name. Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, are you out at blah, blah, blah's house? And I'm like, are you watching me? Because that's like <laughs> real terrifying. Uh-huh. At like, And it wasn't like, it's not like I didn't tell him where I was going. I just, he just hadn't right. asked. And so I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, that is a little creepy. It was terrifying. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. It was fine, though. I, I figured it out eventually. <laughs> right. Much like Veronica. Yeah. Oh, you I got to the sleuth. bottom of it. Yeah. yeah there you go. Hey. I, too, was friendly with Cotton. No. <laughs> <laughs> Leo <Sure>. busted you? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, Leo. Uh, if it was Leo, I would, I'd probably be married to that sheriff. Or deputy. Deputy. He's a deputy. Well, he would be maybe, hopefully, a sheriff now. Well, no. Now he works for... Their, what Whoa. is it in the end? It's like he works for the FBI or something. Yeah. It's fine. This is a spoiler. But Spoilers. It's like, <laughs> but like it's stretched out. It's like no one's worried about his career trajectory. No, no, no. But yeah, he works for the FBI. Um, But yeah, this episode, getting back to Veronica Mars, is jam-packed. We are really in it. Mm-hmm. We are in it, in it. It opens hard. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Honey, it was a soccer uniform I found in the dryer. Ta-da. But yeah, that was... The previous song. Yeah, but it was like right as they go into it. Like that's what they chose to open it with. Well, I have a different opening. Tale as old as time. Leo, Veronica, smooching on the front porch. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. P-O-R-C-H. The porch. (laughs) It's like... Uh, what, did you ever were you in a spelling bee <laughs> no we didn't have spelling bees you didn't have Catholic spelling school. bees no it sucked oh i missed out on playing an instrument and um spelling bees you didn't have spelling bees no were you, I we had like church you... <laughs> <laughs> i feel like you would have been good at spelling bees yeah i would have loved it i can remember things really well but what's now... your favorite word you can spell <laughs> <laughs> uh the only one that's coming to mind right now is porch <laughs> <laughs> well, just because you never got to do it, I was wondering if you'd yeah. live some sort of like fantasy where you'd won the spelling bee with like oh. a big word, you know? Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. It was just a fantasy of winning the spelling bee. There's no concrete details. <laughs> this is I why had to stay ma- agile. <laughs> your manifestation doesn't work out. Uh, well, I had to stay. You know, I didn't want to put all my eggs in one word basket. B a s k t. The fact that you kind of question the A. Uh-huh. <laughs> would have been great. <laughs> you would have been great. Yeah, it would have flow. Um, so we get some kisses con Leo. Mm-hmm. And, sorry, bud. Um, <laughs> our dog hates when we make the kissy sound. Um, and we learn very important facts here. They're 29 months apart. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I didn't even have to check my notes. <laughs> yeah. Which would make him 19-ish, mm-hmm. which makes it a little better. Yeah. He, well, remember in, when we first were introduced to him, he's 19. We're told he's 19. Are we really? Yeah. Oh, I thought, I'm like, ha, we're finally getting to the bottom of this. <laughs> it's not. The case is already closed, but I'm still <laughs> gathering the details. It was never <laughs> open. <laughs> what about this fingerprint of the crime scene? Yeah, we got that. I feel like this is very Blue's Clues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, into his birth certificate. <laughs> um, and so, th- oh, go ahead. No, you got it. I was just going to keep going. Yeah, keep okay. going. Okay, so then Veronica comes in from Moochin on Leo, uh-huh. and she's like, oh, Dad, how funny of you to pretend to be mulling around in the refrigerator and not spying on us through the window. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> turns out it's for different reasons. And he's like, <laughs> exactly. I'm practicing avoidance differently. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, your thing. He's like, oh, like, honey, I know you're still upset about your mom. But um, and I've tried not to date because it obviously made you mad when I tried. Um, And now 
I need to tell you that I'm going to date Wallace's mom. So, and I'm like, what the? F-? Like, why would anyone? I know she wants her mom back, but like, Wallace uh-huh. could be her stepbrother. Totally. And how fucking fun would that be? I know. That's what I said. And um, I wrote this down that a uh, 12-year-old me would have loved this. Like, like young is just like, that's like best news ever. We're going to be friends all the time. Remember how I go over to your house, Wallace, and then you come over to mine? Well, we could live in the same house. Yeah. We could live in your house because there's not enough room here. Well, do we know if there's enough room in their house? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Where's I'm Veronica sure. going to sleep? Because he has a well, baby no. brother. So Yeah, but then they had the tenant. Oh, so they she, were she's going to sleep outside out. in the guest house? Yeah, why not? I would. Think about that. Teenager and you have a guest house. That's like awesome. Yeah, but in their case, it just means she'd get murdered. Like, it's Veronica. <laughs> That's true. Well, she would have like tripwires or something set up. True, true, true. She had a whole trap. Oh. It'd be like the guys in the dorm room. She would have like a whole alarm system rig. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's she's pretty cunning. But no, she does not find this news happy. And neither does Wallace. No. And I don't understand. I understand Wallace's side eventually, but not the initial reaction. Yeah, they were just like, ew. Yeah. Cooties. Our parents like each other. And I'm like. Right. But like. You could be siblings. You could be siblings. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh-huh. The, I understand that the dynamic between mother and teenage son is very weird. And you don't want to think about that at all. But at the same time, like, come on. Best friend gets to be your step sibling. That's best case scenario. Yeah. Otherwise, you get you can end up with some weirdo. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, like my mother married my stepfather, and all I got was a cat. <laughs> yeah, I know. She was a very, very lovely cat, but she wasn't the nicest uh, step sibling. She liked me. She didn't like David. Mm. She tolerated you. Yeah. You should consider yourself lucky. It was pretty good. Well, yeah, it was pretty funny how you would pick her up. And then you could literally see, like, it's like, uh-oh, in three, two, one, she's going to lose her shit. <laughs> but it's okay. I just held her paws, and then she couldn't hit me in the face. That's smart. <laughs> Jim wouldn't do that. He'd pick her up and not hold her paws, and then she'd swipe him across the nose. And I'm like, she's your fucking cat. Uh, that's great. God, love that man, but boy. Yeah. You know, he's just a cute cat. He's a very cute cat. Yeah, and it was his baby. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, Eartha. Yeah, we love you, Eartha miss you mm-hmm. you're much better than the cat they have now yeah lena's very cute but she'd tear i hope she's not listening yeah she's gonna come after us <laughs> i worry about that um really <laughs> <laughs> um so then veronica notices on the bench someone carved into it kill em all dot net i wonder if this will come up later i was like wow like I remember like the rubbery plasticky of those kinds of tables and I'm like you have to have like a fucking razor blade to do that Mm -hmm. and like how did you not cut yourself like that's a very long (laughs) website title totally it's not just like K A you know like it didn't didn't go initial wise (laughs) no and especially that we learn it's the um the nerdy kid that uh Mac talks to for a brief second um I forget his name I think his name's Pete um, that he would have some sort of switchblade or something is a little, that he would have like some sort of blade to carve it in there. It's like, huh, that seems uncharacteristic. I don't know. I don't feel like that's uncharacteristic. I feel like everyone at my high school carried a pocket knife. Gotcha. Cause like, Never mind then. Cutting bay, uh, cutting bay hails. Cutting I was hails. wondering where you're going to go with <laughs> <Hay> bay hails. <laughs> Like, you know, just like like random shit, like boxes. I don't know. Everyone always had something that they shouldn't have had. Gosh, the boxes, you mean? Yeah, why did we have an undercover cop for drugs when really the problem was pocket <laughs> knives? Nice. Yeah, pocket knives are much more dangerous. Well, remember that. my first job I showed you? I have three different pocket yeah. knives from my former boss. It's a lot. Including a pink one. Yeah, and that one's really sharp. Yeah. Don't fuck with me. Mm-hmm. Me and my friends did not have pocket knives. Oh. We had our fists. We let our fists do the talking. <laughs> hey. um, did get, you know <laughs> yeah yeah we talked and they said uh no fighting please <laughs> we are both gentle <laughs> yes these are very soft hands you see um then we get the new journalism teacher join us 
Um, I had to look up the actress's name because I'm like, oh my god, it's Ch- Amy from Chasing Amy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Joey Lauren Abrams. Joey Lauren Adams. I don't think she acts anymore because there's like a. D- she doesn't do anything past like 2014 except for the Jane Silent Bob reboot. And it's like, oh god. She's in a lot of Kevin Smith movies. Um, I always think like it'd be kind of nice to be like someone, you know, like a Daniel Radcliffe or something that like you make your money early and then you just like chill. Yeah. Like I, a Rupert Grant would be a better example. He's done like what a handful of movies. Told, yeah, exactly. And he's a uh, yeah. He took a lot of time off. He's in some one Apple show, Apple TV show now. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he's just kind of chilling. Yeah. I, actually, Drives around I, in his ice cream truck. I think he's expecting a child with his wife. Oh, good. I think I just saw that online today. Congratulations, Rupert, from M and I. <laughs> You're good friends. <laughs> um, and I think like she probably got to chill after, because I mean, she did Chasing Amy, which was big. Um, and then, uh, oh, she was in Big Daddy. Um and I mean nothing else super big, but I think like both those movies like pretty damn big for the time. Uh huh. Do you know Chasing Amy or Big Daddy? Uh uh-uh. uh. Chasing Amy is the Kevin Smith movie where um Ben Affleck is in love with her and she's a lesbian, but like ends up not really being a lesbian. It's not good in hindsight. Half of it's really funny, and then the ha- other half of it's really saccharine, like all Kevin Smith movies, and the back half it kind of sucks. Um, I'm glad I missed it. Yeah, we don't need to watch it. Um, yeah, Kevin Smith. I can't watch his movies anymore. Um, drive me up the wall. Then um, Big Daddy is where Adam Sandler has a kid show up on his door that says he's his friend, John Stewart's kid. Um, and John Stewart's like stuck out of the country for, like for a while. So Adam Sandler ends up taking care of him. And, like, learns to be a better person. And then she's the love interest. Interesting. Yeah. These both sound mediocre at best. Uh, I would not watch Big Daddy now, but I've seen Big Daddy a lot. Why? It was a funny movie at the time. In 2001. Mm. Yeah. It's the... I had more important things to do at that time. Sure. Yeah, I didn't. Um... (laughs) And then uh, that's where, like, it, the only quote that I quote from it is um, I win, where he's, like, the little kid's playing cards with adults. And he's like, oh, I win. And it's just like, what? This game sucks. He's like, yeah, it's just a game. I win. It's pretty cute. I like um, that. That feels very mean. Oh, wait. Is that one of the Sprouse children? It might be. One of It could have been both of them switched out. Um. Yep, it was both. That's usually I'm like, what they do with twins is, like, that's why they end up on TV. And that's why, it's like, I feel like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, it's, like, when you age out of looking the same, that's when you either become a Mary-Kate and Ashley or... Mm-hmm. But Mary-Kate and Ashley <laughs> still looked the same for the most part at right. that point. They mm-hmm. just um, both were featured. Yeah. Do you want to know how I got to, like, oh, wait, it's the Sprouse children? Um, was I was like, oh, it was the kids from uh, Friends. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's funny. I know one of them, Jughead. The other one's funny on Twitter. <laughs> they bully each other online, basically. Uh-huh. I don't know what Dylan does otherwise. He, he has a mead company. Oh, He makes mead. Wait, and he does a voice for Kingdom Hearts. Is he really? Yes. Interesting. Hey, right back around to Veronica Mars. Mm-hmm. Jason Doring. Mm-hmm. And um, so she's like, hey, you know, let's get him back to the journalism room. She's like, hey, let's... Let's let's find some nice feel good pieces for the paper, and everybody's like, "We want to do hard journalism." Yes, because you know what high schoolers love to do, hard journalism. Oh yeah, investigative. They want to get in deep. Where's the belly of the school? Um, and then they make fun of her for being peppy. Um, yeah, it's not very nice. No, they're lashing out. They're teenagers. They don't like themselves, so they lash out. As a smart peppy person, I was very offended. Mm-hmm. I but am both things. Then they have a fire alarm, and Veronica laughs at Logan's jokes. Yes, Jogan. Jogan. <laughs> Jogan. <laughs> Logan is very funny this episode. He is. I see that me. I've um, see the gif every single time of the like heads up, chest like chest up. Yeah, mm-hmm. like shoulders back, chest up. Yeah. <laughs> All <laughs> right, everybody. 
He is very peppy about his evacuation. Yes. Um, and I did also like that they said, like, oh, I can't believe our former journalism teacher, fill in the blank, um, left, like, because she was pregnant. And it's like, ha, the actress left because she was pregnant. Um, we also do, we skipped one minor line that I thought was hilarious. Oh. And it was, um, like, while we're waiting for the journalism class to start, Veronica sitting there, you know, having her, like, her um, Sarah Jessica Parker from Sex in the City, like, in-head mm-hmm. narration. Or her mm-hmm. um, Michael from Burn Notice. Uh-huh. That's how I think of it. Um, I'm like, when you're a spy. Um, but she was Dear Seventeen magazine, and it's like you know, like how uh-huh. do I know if my ex boyfriend? And it was you know, poised to be all cute, but then it's like basically like is Duncan a murderer? <laughs> and I'm like, love, like me too, Dear Seventeen. I have a question: Is Duncan the murderer? Sure. Uh-huh. And do you think at the time Seventeen magazine responded? Because I used to get Seventeen magazine. Oh, I can only hope. I hope so too. Dear Veronica from Neptune. Yeah. Dear Veronica Mars. Mm-hmm. You tell us. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. Uh, I should have written for Seventeen magazine. I know. You still can. They're, they're still around. Ra- they're still around, right? I think so. I don't know. I am a good decade past seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think the writers were too. Or you say, you're saying you thought the entire magazine was seventeen year olds? No, but I do think it was people in the early twenties. Oh, I see. I don't know, though. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I like to think it's just an institution of 17-year-olds, and they got to swap them out every year. I mean, look at Teen Vogue, some of the best journalism of our time. Back in mm-hmm. my day, it was like, did Lauren Conrad make a new headband while working here? Did Did she? I mean, she always had a new headband, that bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's a very nice lady. She damn you, seems... Elsie. Um, so we get some fire alarms, and they're like, damn, this be the fifth one this week. What's going on? Or... This month. Yeah, however many. Yeah. And then um it's the talks to the journalism teacher and it's like, hey, maybe there's your story. And it's like, hmm. <laughs> Smell that Veronica? Got a scoop. Like a pooper scoop? Yeah, pooper scoop. <laughs> um <laughs> wafting from the news. Um and she does she go to the vice president? Yeah, she goes yeah. to the vice principal and she's like, Hey, vice principal, I don't remember your name. Um I wanna, what I, like what the fuck is going on with these Clemens, fire alarms, Clemens. Clemens? Yeah, um, and he's like, oh no, we just got a bit behind, so we're doing more. But he doesn't look at her when he does it because he's hiding something. Uh huh. So then later, you know, she's wandering around, but 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 sees the the high kid, um, and he says, uh, ask her if she wants to go to White Castle. Is that like a drug joke? I think so. I think it's a reference to Harold and Kumar. I think so too, but I was like, like, are, do you want to go buy drugs? Or like, do you want to go like get high, or do you want to go to White Cat? Like, do you want to go get what? high and get food? Mm-hmm. Because like those are all very different propositions. <laughs> and before I get high, I need to know there's food at the end. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, there. She's like, there is no White Castles in Neptune. And he's like, yeah, I know. He's like, that's the point. Yeah, and Ugh. I'm like, I don't get it either, Veronica. Yeah, no, high schoolers are dumb. And then, do you, do you want to smoke pot or not? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and then dogs okay. start coming in with police, and he's like, "Oh shit!" Thinks he's gonna get busted because you know going to White Castle, wink, wink. Um, and so he grabs the weed out of his locker and puts it in his crotch. Uh huh. Which smart way to go, bud? Yeah, because that they're gonna hide it there. The smell of your Jackie. Yeah, is is stronger than weed. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Only if it's oregano, bud. Exactly. The German shepherds are going to go by. Me. Nope, just crotch. <laughs> um, but they kept walking because they're not drug dogs. They're bum dogs. Mm-hmm. Do you know usually um, former she... drug dogs will become bomb dogs? And so that's why people tend to get caught at airports because they alert on the wrong thing. That's really funny and it's supremely cute and kind of sucks for the people to get caught. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> it's really funny. I thought it was cute. Yeah, because it's extremely cute. It's like, yeah, I'm doing this, right? And it's like, ah, well, yeah, no, but yeah. Like, oh, yeah, you. I mean, like, good job. Right. We love you, bud. Yeah, good job, Rover. Do you think their handlers are really loving to them? I yeah. like to think so. They must be. When they, I mean, everybody's got to hang out their hat sometime, and when they're at home, resting. Playing some fetch. Yeah. Rubbing some bellies. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Do you think bomb dogs like to have belly rubs? Totally. But they can't on the job. <laughs> when the vest goes on, 
No belly rubs. That will be my children's book. Do bomb dogs like belly rubs? <laughs> and other questions I've asked. Just a German shepherd on, on his, his back. back. <laughs> so I, I, I put that the episode title gives it away because it's called Weapons of Class Destruction. <laughs> so it's like, oh, they're bombs, huh? Ah. Uh. Yeah. Um, my next note is because we get the scene in class, right? Well, uh, she calls the principal, r- vice principal, right? Oh, is that right now? Probably. Um, um, yeah, she calls the superintendent as the superintendent. N- well, first she calls the superintendent and is oh. like, "How many fire drills are we supposed to have a year?" And she's like, "Just one every quarter or mm-hmm. one every semester or whatever." Yeah. <clears throat> and so then she figures out that the woman's got a funny voice, mm-hmm. so she learns to do an impressionation and she calls the vice principal and is like, "I've heard from this nosy girl that like mm-hmm. all this is happening." And I know the one. Um. And then he is like, oh, well, I didn't want to tell you guys, but I wanted to keep it under wraps. But like, we got problems. <laughs> we keep getting bomb threats. Why would you keep that under wraps? You know, you need to tell people that way. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's bad. This is a post Columbine world. Mm-hmm. It's a post 9-11 world. Mm-hmm. You tell people when there's bomb threats. So I totally. make myself clear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Clemens, listen up. Ears up. Especially in like a wealthy, like, because all those kids could just school from home. Yeah, totally. We're learning that now. Yep. If mm-hmm. Neptune existed, they would all be on their laptops at home. Exactly. Playing their <coughs> games in their chat rooms and their sexting, whatever the hell kids do. <laughs> uh, so Veronica's like, hmm, I got the scoop. Time to print the paper. Yes. And everybody reads it. Uh huh. Everybody reads the paper. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is a high school paper. Did your high school have a newspaper? That's what I was about to ask you. No, we did not. I feel... We had the news. Oh, I. CHS TV. I kind of wonder if we did, but I don't think so. I don't think anyone bought. I should have done that. Started the newspaper? I think there had been one. Mm. I think, it, like, so the problem with where I went to school is that there were a lot of programs, but since programs were student run, if you didn't pass the torch on well, oh, then they just they died. Collapsed. Like, yeah. for example, Katie started a speech and debate team. By the time I was there, a year after she was gone, there was no speech and debate team. <laughs> Scorched earth policy with Katie. <laughs> um, but yeah, that sucks. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's uh-huh. kind of like one of those things where, like, oh, well, right. no one was interested. She but. was the one, like, really, like, yeah, so you, as a student, you decided you wanted to have a club, and then you found a faculty advisor. Right. So I guess I could have started one. Yeah. I think there was, I feel like there were editions of the paper that came out at times, but I don't know, like, if it was from a specific class. Mm-hmm. I don't remember there being a journalism class as an option, because I feel like I would have taken it. Yeah, that sounds fun. I, um, in theory. I, I know there were, like, video editing and design ones, but. That's cool. We had we didn't have one either. Well, we had a yearbook. Yeah, we had a yearbook too. We won uh, first place at the f- county fair every year. You entered your yearbook in the county fair. Apparently, that's what they told us. Weird rich kids. <laughs> yeah. Well, we looked really good. Yeah, I mean, you we know, came together. You know what won at the county fair in my county? The pigs. animals. <laughs> yeah. I mean, both. You can have pigs winning and yearbooks. True. Yeah, the the pig actually chose the yearbook. <laughs> Just imagine fucking like babe picking <laughs> a yearbook. <laughs> Ma. 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 Um you could all please go in the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Can we watch babe after this? <laughs> sure. Uh, uh. And then um by uh Wallace comes back and it's like you gotta um you gotta go talk to the vice principal yeah yeah he wants to talk to you mm-hmm. and so she and the journalism teacher go in and yes. he's really rude to the journalism teacher who is doing him a favor by teaching yeah btw because who the fuck wants to hang out with high schoolers i know um and um he is like you can't just print things for the sake of like free press. Like you're still at a high school, there is no free press. Right. I feel like that. Might and be- the law. Yeah, maybe that's why the newspaper died. Oh, salacious things! It was shut down from the. I don't. I'd have to look into this. Mm-hmm. This seems scandalous, though. Mm-hmm. I like the idea that this happened. Smell a scoop. 
I don't think anything really <laughs> riveting ever happened in that town. Okay. Um, but in the town of Neptune, they make up for it. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, and so then he's a real asshole to all of them, and she's like, "So, do you want me to help you figure out who's doing this?" Mm-hmm. And he basically says no, but right, we take a burden upon ourselves. It's... Exactly. She's like, "I'm still gonna figure this out." Yeah. Well, um, I mean, she doesn't want to fucking die. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. One hundred percent. Um. So, we go then to Alicia and um, or what it? Do you think she prefers to be called Miss Fennell? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, Miss Fennell and Mister Mars, mm-hmm. um, are on their date at the uh, Mars abode, and yeah, why didn't they leave the house? I know that's a little weird. So the kids could watch him. Mm-hmm. And Wallace just like looking through the window, or not <laughs> window, <laughs> the door <laughs> made him go outside, <laughs> sit by the pool, Wallace. <laughs> yeah, you sit outside of your friend's house while I date her dad. Yeah, for two hours we gotta watch this movie, um, and uh, then they, Wallace and Veronica have a discussion, and Veronica's like, hey, like this isn't gonna last long. My mom's coming back, and then y'all are out of here, and yeah. Wallace is like, excuse me. Uh, you're telling me that your dad is going to dump my mom and I don't want my mom getting hurt, which fair Wallace. Um, and Veronica's like, well, don't tell him, tell her just yet. And Wallace is like, oh, God damn it. Um, but I do think it's important that Wallace doesn't tell his mom because of his mom's sake, not for Veronica. Yes. Because then when he's like, mom, I want to tell you this thing. She's like, stop it. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be happy right now and you can go. Right. Be quiet. <laughs> to your room. Out by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> to the guest house, Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because it's for, she's right. She's got the gut, and Veronica is just being rude. She is. I don't like it at all. She's a little I don't shit. care if your mom is clean. She ain't coming back into this house. No, and you spent your college savings trying to get your mother clean. What mm-hmm. if you took in Wallace's mom instead? Exactly. Who's already clean. At least not, you know, doesn't have an addiction. Yeah. Um, not like you should throw away people with addictions. That's yeah, I was going to say, let's uh, let's back that up. Um, you know, but she gone. Yeah. So, yeah. new chapter. Mm-hmm. And her name is Alicia for now. Um, and then we get to school and Mac is chatting up some nerd. And that nerd... Pete, I want to say. Um, again, I didn't write his name down, but we can check. Pete. And he's like, hey, you know those two weird, like, outcast kids that, like, don't get along with other people? Yeah, I saw one of them throw. I saw them throwing um, tennis balls with explosive in it at cats. Yeah. Um, and it's the one that Jonathan Taylor Thomas is, right? Yes, Jonathan Taylor Thomas and... Um, Norris is played by Theo Rossi. She's from Sons of Anarchy and then Luke Cage, which is why I know him. Oh. Yeah. Shades. Um when we first see JTT, which I know is earlier, but still. Uh-huh. I you were like, Oh my god, it's him and you were all excited and I was like, Who is this guy? I never fucking remember Jonathan Taylor <laughs> Thomas. To this day, I think if he walked in the room in front of me, I'd be like I feel like <laughs> I should know yours? him. Te- seen him before teen heartthrob yeah i i just i i have like i think he was like slightly like he was like the um the guy for people that were slightly older like my i think the reason i know him is because of my sister mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah um i also like truly only loved lance bass from insane oh i understand so like i really had like no time for anyone else. Everybody. Yeah, like I oh, yeah. loved him. Mm-hmm. I get I loved it. Loved him. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still do. He seems like a great man. He's yeah, he living does. a great life, and he's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet he. I hope he's doing well in quarantine. It seems like he's probably doing fine. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, him and um, uh, who's the the lady that he's friends with? Vanderpump. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I bet he's watching some nice Vanderpump rules. <laughs> Um, yes. And then, um, 
what's uh Veronica go logs on to killemall.net and then um sees that there's a literal ticking time bomb. Yep. Timer. Which I'm like if if someone carved that into a table and the administration didn't look into it. Yeah. Who's running this investigation? Mm-hmm. Um Oh, okay. And I forgot that um before she goes on the internet, um <laughs> and so she says um just in general, pre internet. Yeah. <laughs> Wallace um is like, Oh yeah, Norris, like yeah, Clemens made him sure made him turn his shirt inside out. And it's like, what did it say? It's like kill them all and have God sort out the rest. Is that like a song sort lyric? Um Kill 'em all is a um no, no. Uh Kill 'em all is a song. But crap, I just lost it. It's like a metal song. Mm, yeah. Cool. I don't think it's a got a, a song lyric. I think it's just a shitty mentality. And then we also get um, a really great scene with Meg and Veronica <laughs> where <laughs> and, and Duncan. Meg and Duncan are walking by and Meg's like, oh, we should talk to my friend Ronnie. Mm-hmm. And Duncan's like, no, let's keep walking. And Meg's like, stop it. And goes and talks to Veronica. And mm-hmm. Veronica tells them how um, how a man disappeared because she was working on a case or something. Is that what it was? Veronica? She talks about her two imaginary friends. Yeah, but then she's like, she because she embeds this idea in Duncan for how to escape. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. So she seeds like all these things. It's like, yeah, this guy like disappeared and jumped bail, and like yeah, he changed he, his ID. He and used blah, blah. a fake ID and he used a prepaid card and blah 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 blah. And she so she's just like telling them about this case, and Duncan's just sitting there all quiet and grumpy, and Meg's like, huh, like that's interesting. And then Duncan just like, gets up and fucking leaves. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> Doesn't even say that though. No. <laughs> I wrote in all caps, I hate boys. Yeah. No, I, I wrote, Duncan, be like a human. Yeah, he's just a fucking asshole. Um, uh, and then Meg is like, it's not you. I don't know what. Something's been up his bonnet all day. And so then eventually Veronica finds him alone in a classroom. He finds her. No, she comes up to him in the journalism room. Jumping ahead of it. Oh. Is there really that much in between that? Yes. Because I have, I hate boys, and then a line break, and then Duncan... And then a quote. She walks over to Norris and JTT. Oh, yeah. And that's where we get the, where she's like, hey, like, got your quotes for the paper. Who would you want to be stuck on an island with? Oh. And he's like, Bruce Lee, Joe Strummer, and Sam Kinison. And she's like, aren't they all dead? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, cool, man. Yeah. Oh, he must be the bomber because he likes Joe Strummer. Yeah. No. Also, I didn't know my stepfather went to Neptune High. <laughs> Was he Sam Kinison fan? I don't know, but Joe Strummer for sure. Totally. Likes Bruce Lee. Great question. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, and then tries to like suss him out. Like, oh yeah, these kids must be up to no good trying to bomb our school. Mm-hmm. No school pride with these ones. Yeah, you know. Yeah. No pirate pride. No, no pirate pride. No pee-pee. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. Wow. Uh, that. That's my time. <laughs> it's a tight five you gotta go now exactly it's been going on for like 15 minutes now and that it's not one doesn't seem to work anytime i try it i've tried it multiple times it's just i don't i feel like i'm just not delivering it properly it's There's a funny joke like pps and winkies you know really you really gotta figure out which one's gonna flow better in your set mm-hmm. maybe a teletubbies thing i don't know i'll figure it out so then um so then veronica goes to find Duncan, and mm-hmm. he's in the journalism room on a computer. Yeah. Brr, I'm and, searching the internet angrily. And she's, like, talking behind him, mm-hmm. and he's ignoring her, and she's like, well, you either can't hear me or you're being an asshole. But she doesn't say it like that. She says it much nicer. Uh-huh. I feel like I would have just walked up and bonked him on the back of the head, but, like, yeah. hey, bro, I also would have done that. Cause you know, I, what's, what, what, oh, God, I just lost it. See, this is why I couldn't do it. This is why my fist did the talking of, like, please don't hurt me. Um... <laughs> can't even make proper threats <laughs> he's got a tattoo on his knuckle that says don't hit <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> hammer don't hurt him um but duncan's like oh well logan told me about the files on your computer and i'm like you dumb logan i know why would you say that and he he's like and um and you got a file on me and he's like blah 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 and he's like what does my file say and she's mm-hmm. like that you have um 
stage four epi- epilepsy. Yeah. Not stage four, something like that. Yeah, like some form of epilepsy that makes you uh-huh. forget what you're doing or black out. Yeah. Um, and he was like, well, why are you even looking into this? They already caught the murderer. And she's like, Abel Coons was paid a lot of fucking money to go to mm-hmm. jail. And But who would pay? And he's like, who would pay? And he's like, oh, we would pay. And at first, I'm all like, I, like the first time we saw the scene in this one, I'm like, oh, he's gonna get it now. Yeah, like, no. Oh, my parents are fucked up. Mm-hmm. But instead, he's like, why do you think my parents would pay someone to cover up? Do you think oh, I killed Lily? And mm-hmm. then he gets like all mean and scary. Yeah, mean and scary, but he really doesn't look that. No, scary. I could take him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You'd punch him. His fists are also saying like, there's nothing backing these up. <laughs> I would go for the knees. Right. Oh, there you go. You take tall men Sweep out. Sweep the legs. <laughs> I used to get in so much trouble because I would trip my brother. <laughs> I was like, he's being mean. I was like, you can't take him out of the knees. He's going to get That's hurt. Right, David. It's my turn to watch the TV. He's, it was always, you know, part of an altercation, but like, I always won. GL Timber, as he called over to. <laughs> But I will never forget. My mom's like, you can't take him out at the knees. He's tall. And I'm like, what? If, like, I'm going to hurt him. <laughs> uh, siblings, great. Love them. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so then. What do you think? I'm going to have another episode? Yeah, and then he runs away. Yeah, and then there's like some girls in the hallway being like, ah, what do you think he's saying in there? I think they're fighting again. Didn't they break right. up? Mm-hmm. Do you think she murdered Lily? I'll never tell. XOXO. <laughs> oh, God. Gossip boy. Gossip boy. Gossip man. <laughs> <laughs> I've been part <apartments>, but <laughs> Oh, God. Um, and then um, Veronica goes to the Camelot. Yeah. No, and then yeah. she follows JTT. Yeah, exactly. And he's getting fertilizer, and he's got a rifle, a very big rifle. And then, um, well, yeah, so for, you're right. Just follows him to the Camelot. Um, he's like comes out of there. Takes no, a lot please of explain what I said to me. <laughs> I had it backwards. <laughs> Apologies. It's okay. <laughs> you can take it. No. <laughs> I have buried the hole. Um, dug the hole, buried myself. That's all right. Um, you get it. And then I love you. None the same. <laughs> thank you. Uh, follows him to the hardware store. He's like, oh God get all this fertilizer got a lot of plants at the motel um and then uh shows her the rifle pretty much because he takes out this big like rifle and sets it next to his car and it's like hmm i wonder if he's doing that on purpose um and then logan calls veronica and he's like hey i heard duncan's bad because i told him about the the no she's like hey just so you know i told duncan it's like no shit why didn't you call me before you did it Uh uh-huh but Veronica, you know, she likes him, so it's, we're, she's rolling with it. Well, and he, um, he's like, you know, he's my best friend. What was I going to do? Right. Not tell him? Let the investigation go? Well, he wanted to confront him about not telling him about his epilepsy, because that's what hurt right. his feelings, is you could have used me, buddy, and you didn't tell me. Mm-mm. Also, could've... did you kill your sister slash my girlfriend? Was it because I was dating your sister? Mm. Um... But anyway, yeah. Um. So then JTT kidnaps her. He gets in the car, yeah. and he's like, "Drive!" And she's still on the phone with Logan, so she drops the phone and repeats where she's going because smart. I learned that from Taken, whatever that uh-huh. Liam Neeson. Yes, but the second one, I think. I don't. I've only the seen. Second I think one. I've, I've only seen one of them, and I don't think it's the first. And he's on the phone with the daughter, and she's like, "Okay, yell." He's like, "Yell everything about the room, like, and throw the phone under the bed." So Just she, number one. Is it the first one? Yeah. Oh. There's more than one, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, but in the first one, that's what happens. I haven't seen any of the sequels, which is why I know it's the first one. And then they go to like Europe? Yes. I feel like it's Paris, but I can't remember. Yeah, because she's studying abroad. Uh-huh. So I saw that movie on a pirated movie website that streamed movies, and I was just like, oh, like this looks like an okay one. I'll just spend this with my day before it like came out in the U.S. And I'm like, oh, that was all right. And it like blew up. I'm like, eh, okay, I guess. But yes, yeah, so um, it was an afternoon for me. <laughs> it's just an afternoon. Mm-hmm. Um, so then, JTT kidnaps her. They go to the Camelot, back to the Camelot. Yep. And um, 
he's like, Veronica, I need to talk to you privately, like, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, it's like, talk to, like, why didn't he tell her in the car? Yeah, just tell her in the car. Hey, I'm an ATF agent. Um, let's go it talk looks to the camel. weirder that I kidnapped you. Totally. Especially when I'm dragging you up to my room. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Logan turns the corner and beams him into face. Mm-hmm. Boom. And then he shows Veronica's badge. And yeah. she's like, oh, JTT is actually an undercover agent. Mm-hmm. And it's like, stop beating him up. Yeah. He's like, please stop. Stop hitting him. <laughs> mm-hmm. We could get in trouble for this. <laughs> yeah. This this could be bad. But uh, you can't get in trouble. If someone kidnaps you, you're allowed to hit him. Totally. Yeah. Which is That's... why I feel like... Pre- I almost said presses aren't charged. Charges aren't pressed? <laughs> um, and I'm like, oh, okay. It makes sense why he looks older than him. <laughs> if he's an ATF agent. And then they all, they talk in the room. Well, Logan gets put outside to talk. And they, she's like, yeah, Veronica. Ties him like, up outside. I'm a really good agent and I've caught so many people and you should see how big, you know how big my dick is? It's so big. <laughs> That's basically what he's doing. Yes, he's, uh-huh. He's explaining how cool he is and how and cool. and foreshadowing. Mm-hmm. He's, like he's never not made an arrest, and mm-hmm. he's he's arrested the most people. And um, he reminds me of someone who currently holds a lot of power in our sad great nation. Who? Oh, well, you know. <laughs> Just saying that he lacks JTT's je ne sais quoi. Ah, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Yeah, and so then Veronica leaves the room. They, she's like, okay, fine. Like, I know who it is. And she kisses Logan. Well, <laughs> it's a very gentle kissy noises you're making you. over there. No, but there was, um, you know. Romantic and passionate. Yeah, adrenaline kiss. Yes. Set to you too. Of course. Mm-hmm. Was that the year that you two got downloaded? No, that was way later when you two got downloaded on everyone's yeah, iPhone. Oh my god, that was the worst. Mm. I don't like you two, so like, no thanks. Well, I don't like you three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worse. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yep. Um. But yeah. So then, and then I'm always like, "Yay!" Like I cheer internally at this moment, and then I'm like, mm-hmm. "Oh, I forgot about Leo." I know. I fucking love Leo. Yep. She's I- the same thing with her. She's like. Fuck. Yeah, she's like, well... My boyfriend's a deputy. Yeah, and he's cute. He is? And, like, do you want to date a deputy or, like, mm-hmm. your best friend's ex-boyfriend? Right. And your ex-boyfriend's best friend? Yeah. What a it's twisted a web we weave. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, go fuck the deputy. So... <laughs> 17 just kidding wait till she's 18 i shot the sheriff <laughs> but i didn't fuck the deputy <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. is that your version yep um leo's driving all around town just kidding um so this was not a planned relationship rob thomas um yeah but the fans wanted it yeah, and well, he said that he changed his mind about the relationship when he saw the chemistry between them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so then he's like, Veronica, oh, JTT, well, he had her in the room. He's like, Veronica, mm-hmm. I need you to get close with, um, what's his name? Mr. Noise. Yes. Um, because he, um, not Felch's cat. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I kept thinking. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, the entire episode. <laughs> because he has a bunch of weapons and I think he's definitely the person who's going to try to do this. Mm-hmm. And, um, he keeps pornography under his bed. And, um, I know he likes you. Yeah. Cause, oh, we did skip over the, um, the flashback where he stands up for her. Yeah. Cause he stood up for her back in the day. When um, people were mean to her because she was all alone. Mm-hmm. Didn't have any friends because her boyfriend broke up with her because he murdered his sister. Yeah. that's I hate when that happens. Yeah, it's happened to me before. It's awful. I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> you said that like it had been you. <laughs> it's just a lot, you know, what we went through with that. Um, but yeah, so then, um, so then she does that. So she goes over to his house and this poor sweet boy just has a fun exotic weapon collection. Uh-huh. It reminds me of my parents and their swords. Yeah, I did. She did have a good joke. It was just like, 
Well, you'll be prepared when the dragons come. <laughs> yes. She's like, this looks exactly like the um, the sword from Gladiator. Right? Oh, uh, Braveheart. Braveheart. Yeah. I know my war movies. <laughs> <laughs> Historical fiction. Yeah. Um, and then he's like, oh. Aren't all war movies historical fiction? Stick that in your <sighs> juice box and suck it. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's got braces. <laughs> I can tell. Man, I can't wait to have apples and popcorn again. Um, oh, honey, I hate yeah. to tell you that... Um, they're not going to sell those anymore after this. <laughs> Damn it. Not even Orville Redenbacher. Pop secret? Mm-mm. Crap. No secrets in your pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Um, But yeah. Yeah. He's like, a sword fell off the wall. And she's like, I'll find it. And he's like, oh, it must be under the bed. No, and he's like, it's probably, she's like, I'll look over here for it. And then yeah. she goes look under his bed and finds his porn mag. Mm-hmm. And then he stands up and remembers like oh god i have porn under my bed and it's just like "Eh, you know don't look under there you didn't keep porn under your bed me neither back in my day it was on the internet (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah um but also were porn magazines still really a thing then probably yeah are they still a thing uh hmm. it's a good question i don't know I mean, you know, you got your classic, like you got your Playboy for sure, because it's like it's an institution, right? It's the seventeen of Ford magazines, <laughs> if you will. exactly. Oh God. Yeah. Hey, there's letter sections in there. Um, but I, yeah, I don't. Maybe I just was never a small town. I was never exposed to many porn mags. Right. Um, any really? I don't think I ever was either, of like an actual like porn magazine. Yeah. It was the internet. Yeah. And then, like, you, like, accidentally downloaded something or, like, you surfed it on the web or someone sent you a very inappropriate picture or you're playing Counter-Strike and someone did it, put a spray of a naked woman. Or, you know, like, you somehow download a virus and then you end up with weird things happening on your family computer. Oh, yeah, a bunch of pop-ups with, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, you know, when you have, uh, as what happened to my neighbor, shitty friends, they just download porn using LimeWire. Just to mess with you. Oh, fun. Yeah. Luckily, it didn't happen to me, but it happened to a neighbor. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, no, um, my only LimeWire download was um, the fake Bill Clinton. I did not have sexual relations <laughs> with that woman. Mm-hmm. I downloaded a lot on LimeWire. I had to have someone from my work teach me how to download with whatever else you did so that then you didn't get caught. Yeah, smart. Wink. That was not very smart. Um, but yeah, so um, you know, he finds his porn mag, and yeah. then he's like, "Oh, don't let." And she's like, "Oh," because she'd put it back, so they pretend like nothing happened. And mm-hmm. then she sees this ninja star, and he's like, "Oh, do you want me to take you to the garage, and I can let you throw ninja stars?" Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, let's go do that." Like, I don't want to shoot a gun, but I would throw ninja stars. Well, and he gives her practice ones. They're rubber. Because mm-hmm. she's like, where are the real ones? Yeah. And he's like, uh, you don't want to hurt yourself. Yeah. Basically like, well, maybe next time. Mm-hmm. Totally. Which was very sweet. I feel bad for him. Why doesn't he hang around longer? I know. I feel really bad, too. I mean, he's no sh- sheriff or deputy, but. No, just as like a friend. Because he yeah. invites her to go see Kurosawa. Yeah. Yeah. And he's <laughs> just a, you know, a little bit of a weeaboo. Yeah. Um. And so she leaves, and she's like, well, he doesn't have any weird machine guns or anything. Mm -mm. And um, then... Oh, but he does have wireless internet, because his dad worked for Kane Software. And he has a weird neighbor. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, where have we seen you before? Oh, this isn't the boy who cried killing animals. Yeah, the boy who said that the boy next door was throwing tennis balls with explosives in them to hit cats. Mm-hmm. Or said that the the person who's actually an undercover agent was. Totally. And so then she's like, hmm, something doesn't line up here. Wallace, get me the file on Nordy Boy. Gets a file. And it's like, oh, uh-oh. This stretches back all the way to junior high. Um, we found that... 
Uh, it's not him. But, uh, Mr. ATF agent, mm -hmm. don't do this. Or, well, I guess what happens is she tries to go warn Norris at school. Um, he's outside his Mustang, and the ATF comes to try and take him. And they had planted the fertilizer and the rifle in his trunk. But don't worry, Veronica had taken photos of the agent putting the fertilizer in his own trunk. Yeah. So she had proof that he had been the one who bought it. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Also, like, what agent doesn't cover their own tracks? Like, what a totally. stupid... Mm -hmm. Yep. No. Very idiot. Um, so then Veronica calls up Petey mm -hmm. and is like, hey, I know you got bullied by, um, whatchamacallit, mm -hmm. by Norris, and that you set this all up trying to frame him because you have access to his mm -hmm. wireless internet. Mm -hmm. And he's like, it wasn't just once was all the time. And my dad was toxic, and he said yeah. that I should have hit him back. And uh -huh. I was like, okay, well, I'm really sorry that your dad's a loser. Totally. And then I hit him back, and he sent me to the hospital, and then my dad said I wish I had a son. It's like, Jesus. Sorry, and dude. Once again, Veronica Mars teaching us that the most important thing we can do for young men is send them to fucking therapy. <laughs> Yes. All y'all need just therapy. I almost said Jesus. You don't, <laughs> you don't need, I mean, you might need Jesus. It's mm -hmm. however you want to take it. I don't know. I got it for a, a long time <laughs> at school and at home and think therapy's done a little more. You think therapy's done more for you than the, than the church? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's fair. I feel oddly guilty about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, whatever happens, happens. We're not here to judge. Right. Um, so they print the story in the paper, of like this is what happened, and it's able, it's read by everybody, and it's re able to get um, Norris. We don't see him get released, but he's at least said like he's gonna be released. Um, and the journalism teacher is like, "Yay, we did such a good story. I just got fired." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Wow, that sucks." Yeah, we were wrong about you. You are peppy, but you're good. Exactly. Almost like you could be multifaceted and be a good person, mm -hmm. unlike boys. Yes, 100%. But that is another thing Mar 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 Veronica Mars teaches us, um, which I feel bad. It's fun to have her on. She's she was yep. fun, but, you know. But they don't know how to maintain interesting female characters, so they can only be <laughs> no. on for plot points, and then they have to leave. Right. Then we show you the door. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's. I think that's my biggest problem with this show as a whole is that Veronica's always surrounded by men, and it's not because she's a girl that isn't friends with girls. It's because she's a girl that they figured out how to write because she's, quote, not like other girls. It's similar mm -hmm. to Mac, like why Mac gets yeah, to stay around. totally. But because I'm assuming there weren't a lot of women in that writer's room. Yeah, probably not. Or if they were, they were victims of toxic masculinity themselves. Totally. Which sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fortunate that she has to go. But someone else has to go. Uh-oh. Where's Duncan? Where'd he go? Meg's worried. He's His parents gone. are worried. Gone. Absconded. I mean, who's going to miss him? Duncan no Um Meg, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I guess she would. Yeah. But maybe the Canes, because they're like, damn, we're out of children. <laughs> we're out of children. <laughs> <laughs> we got this big house and no fucking kids, and we got rid <laughs> no. of the dog because it peed on the bushes. Oh, I, I know. This is the worst part. But yeah, then done. End. I was Thanks. like, yeah, I was like, Jesus, this is a really abrupt ending. <laughs> so my favorite part is that we now get to play the will she won't be with the Leo Logan love triangle. Yeah, yeah. that's that's why people love it. Oh, I just love it. I uh -huh. like that love triangle. It is good. It's yeah. better than like a Duncan one. Totally. Because Duncan's the fucking worst. Yeah, Duncan just, he's, a, he's cardboard. He's trash. Trash. Trish. 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 All right. Well, anything else? No. We got four episodes left in this season. Wow. I know. That's crazy. I know. Nuts. Well. Well. I'm pretty excited. If you don't already subscribe, then you can, you know, join us for the last four. Mm -hmm. Listen back to the earlier ones. Totally. Catch up. You got plenty of time. Well, you might have plenty of time. I don't know. I'm making assumptions. Yeah. Assuming you are quarantined and or furloughed like me, then you got plenty of time. So, yes. you know, since I'm furloughed, feel free to support the mm -hmm. podcast. And all our essential workers, thank you very much. Yes. Very we much appreciate so. you. Totally. Um, 
But you can find us on Twitter and Facebook at Mars Rewatch. You can find me at Powell Brenton and on YouTube at The Burger Discourse. You can find me at ButReallyThough.com. And you can find my YouTube, But Really Though, though spelled T-H-O. And you can find our other podcast, But Really Though, again, T-H-O. It's a conspiracy theory podcast. We talk conspiracy theory, urban legends, myths, some ghosty stories. You know, it just depends yeah. on my mood. Um, And you can find that wherever you stream your podcasts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last episode had some very good ghosty stories. Yes, we did the Stanley Hotel. Mm -hmm. Seen on The Shining, or the inspired The Shining. Yes, Stephen King stayed there. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Spooky. (laughs) Spooky Halloween. Uh Okay, all right. Uh, I think that's it then. Stay toasted, Marshall.